Today in the news we got ray tracing crumbs, some bold statements, and some incompatibility. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. In recent days, we've learned that the PS5's custom Navi chip would include hardware acceleration for real-time ray tracing. Now, we kind of expected that, but it was nice to have the actual confirmation from PlayStation's lead system architect. But real-time ray tracing isn't only a hardware solution, as we've seen with Nvidia when they enabled it on non-RTX cards. Now, I know the performance was terrible, but it gave us an idea on how taxing software-based DirectX ray tracing is. Back to the actual news, it seems like AMD might be introducing a software solution in December. The Radeon Adrenaline Edition drivers from all the way back in July actually show DXR code with references to ray tracing. At the end of the year, AMD usually comes out with a huge driver update with new feature, and this year is no different. AMD's China Partner Summit just happened and new features are coming in in December. It could be ray tracing, but it could also be something else like a Radeon image sharpening for DX11 games or for Vega graphics, or even integer scaling since AMD is the only manufacturer to not support it at all right now. Now, don't get me wrong, if they do enable it, the performance will likely be absolute trash. But if Nvidia enabled it, why can't AMD? Moving on, we've got Google making some pretty intense statements. The VP of Engineering for Google Stadia said that the platform will be faster and more responsive than local gaming systems in a year or two. Well, that's bold. In terms of speed, it's kind of true in a way. Not all PC gamers have the best of the best when it comes to hardware, so using a powerful cloud-based system will have its advantages. Plus, at launch, Stadia will support 4K60, which is already tough on some system these days and higher resolution and frame rates of up to 120 fps are coming in the future as for the statement on responsiveness google said that they'll use something called negative latency basically it means that they'll have an algorithm that predicts what you're about to do now server side predictions isn't entirely new it's used in a way for online multiplayer games if you have a very high ping some games like overwatch will try and predict where you or your enemies will be on the server and work it out that way. That extrapolation method can be wrong and it's not always on. There's a very interesting video about it, I'll link it down below. But what Stadia is going to try to do is predict everything that you do to negate the latency introduced by playing the game remotely. I guess we'll have to wait and see how that works out, but there are some pretty big questions left unanswered for this negative latency thing, like what happens if you beat the prediction or will it predict things like firing a weapon in a shooter. Circling back to some AMD news, we had the first sighting of Threadripper 3 motherboards on MSI's website. For their shout-out promo, MSI offered Steam cards for reviews left of their products. In the product section, a Creator TRX40 motherboard can be seen as one of the items eligible. This essentially confirms the naming scheme for the next chipset. As for compatibility, it looks like the next-gen chips will not be backwards compatible at all. A tech journalist received information from ASRock who is working on two TRX40 boards, a Tai Chi and a Creator version. According to the information received by the journalist, TRX40 will not support the last two generation of Threadripper and the next gen chips will not be compatible with X299 or X399. It's a shame though, these motherboards are pretty expensive. Moving on, have you ever wanted to play a local co-op game or a split screen game with a friend but he's not local and he doesn't have the game? Well, if you're in this pretty specific situation, Valve has got you covered. They'll soon introduce Remote Play Together which allows all local multiplayer, local co-op and split screen games to be played over the internet and with a single copy. This feature will be available in the Steam beta and is planned to roll out on the week of the 21st of this month. Month. Is this something that you guys would do? Let me know down below. 
Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. And yes, my throat hurts like crazy. You can probably hear it. Take care. Thank God I didn't record that earlier today. My voice was cracking like crazy. It was cracking like this. It wasn't fun.